Hey everybody, this is Dean DaCosta of the Search Authority doing an updated sourcing on Facebook a video because things changed since the last one, which was only two months ago, literally. Um, so what, what we're going to do here is um, I'm in Facebook. We're going to do a search. So I'm going to look for developer uh, Amazon because I'm going to target Amazon and Seattle because I'm targeting Seattle. And we're going to give it a second. And we get results. We're going to go to people, obviously, because we want people. And boof, there we go. It's really that simple. Now, of course, comes the problem of what do you do to get that information out? And so getting the information out is really quite simple. We have a couple of ways to do this. Way number one is using Zap Info. Zap Info will zap the um, people out. You do bulk excuse me, you go ahead and you simply extract from page, let it do its thing. Uh, it's going to tell you it's got infinite scroll. Okay, fine. So it's only going to grab the people in front of you. And you're going to wait a second. Poof, there they are. You're going to extract them. You're going to enhance it, which means you're going to get whatever information you can find. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to grab them all. I'm going to grab the first three or four. We'll go with four. I'm going to extract and I'm going to wait for it to come out. Now, as soon as it tells me it's done, I don't tend to go in that way. I tend to cancel that and go up here. And you're going to notice that they've already gotten Facebook URLs, the LinkedIn URLs, and emails for all these people. They're already done. So you can now bring that information out, and you're good to go. Now, notice when I did it, the rolling scroll came into effect, which means I only got about 35 people. To do, fix that, you use a tool called a scroll it, where you have the choice of infinite scroll up, infinite scroll down, stop scrolling, whatever. You go infinite scroll down, just let it keep going until it gets to the bottom of the list or enough of what you want. If for some reason it stops it, which usually happens about page 30, you just go in and start it again. It's really quite simple. Now, that's one way. The other way is by using Zap Info tools and going in here and do the Boolean search builder. Now, the Boolean search builder allows you to do exactly what it says, build Boolean searches. Now, you can go here and do it. You see Facebook. But before you do that, and it's pretty simple, job title, location, it's fairly simple. Go into the search library first and see what's already been built. Like if I put in Facebook there and I put in title developer and I search, you're going to notice they've already built pre-built a number of Facebook strings already ready to go for them. Now, I didn't put in a location or anything, uh, so let's add in location. We'll stay in Seattle because I live in Seattle, so I'm a Seattleite. We're going to search again, and boof, software developer, Facebook. Okay, let's open it and see what we get. And it's going to open right to people, ready to rock, ready to go, and boof, we are done. And then you use the same process. Um, scroll it to the bottom, zap info, done. Now, another little trick that I find interesting is if, if for some reason you decide you want to get rid of all this junk, you can get rid of the www after Facebook, put in the letter M and a period, make sure they're separate, and push enter. And what's going to happen, it's going to take this result and make it so it matches the mobile app, which as you can see, the mobile app is a little bit cleaner. And Zap Info can still get this. You can still use scroll it. Everything's the same. It's just a little bit cleaner. So we have all that. And then, of course, if you want to go back to the regular Facebook search, you just get rid of them, put in the www, and go back, and it'll take you right back to the original search. Now, that's this. Now, there are other things you can do here um, for searching here. Let's, for an example, go to groups and see if there are any groups that happen to pop up. There weren't, and that's okay. So we're going to put in, we're going to find a group, and we're going to put in Java, Seattle, and just do that. Now, mind you, the word Java and Seattle could just as easily be coffee, but we're going to see. So you're going to see a bunch of them. Right here is one. New camp. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we got. We got Seattle Java that looks. Oh, Seattle J developers. There's only one member. That isn't going to get me a whole lot. So now we're going to go back up here. And with the term Java, we're going to add in the word developer and see what that gets us. Assuming I spelled it right, which I did not. So we're going to try it again. Add in the extra E, which I forgot, and do it again. Ah, still didn't get anything. So let's try this. Let's go ahead and we got Java. Let's just do this. Let's let's get rid of all of this. D-E-V-E-L-O-P-E-R. We're just going to put developer in Seattle. Let's see what we get. Ah, now we're getting a few. So let's start with um, something simple. Don't really even care that much. Um... Let's do, yeah, let's do something else because I don't feel like I'm getting what I want here. I, I really want to target a specific thing, HTML. 
this does take a little minute to try to figure out and you can see it didn't get me what our HTML didn't get us what we wanted this can be uh, interesting because um, you just never know what the groups are being called so we're going to do engineer all right Seattle women engineering that works we'll do that one so you can go here and you're going to know this here there's a bunch of different stuff uh, but we're in the groups area which is great I'm not a member of this group, don't want to be a member of the group. That's not the point. So for this particular search, we're going to use a tool called Dig. Dig is specific. You'll see here for Facebook, that's the F, you can do get page likes, get group members, get event guests. In this case, we'll want group members. So we're going to do that. We're going to tell it the maximum number I want. In this case, there's 65. So I'd say 65 and we're going to give it an email. It's going to go out, do its thing. And when it brings you back, you're going to get their name, whatever information they got, name, title, um, location um, and their Facebook URLs, which is more than enough to upload to ZapInfo and let it augment. And then from ZapInfo, you can go to uh, seek out, hire tool, a number of places to get even more info. Interesting enough, it also works for events, which means people who went to events. So if you could find an event, which was the Java users group event or something, you can get that information as well. Uh, you can get people who like it. Obviously, if they're liking a page about developers they're probably a developer or a recruiter but either way you can get them so that's how all that's done and that's how simple it can be um it, facebook did away with the graph search and in doing so um they allowed a much simpler way for us to search which is one of the things i really really like about it now there are a number of tools out there like this one that have um that are trying to figure out how they can go ahead and uh, work given the graph search is gone. Like I'm doing a search in the IntelliSearch for groups. You notice it comes there and it's not working. And I'm not getting rid of it because I know Shane who owns it will eventually fix it. And so that's some of the things that are going on within Facebook that have just made things a little bit interesting. Uh, the graph search being moved is what really hurt people. Um, I'm gonna try Java and I'm not gonna put, and I'm gonna do Seattle again, just get one more time, see what we get. We get all these things here, Java bean, organic coffee, Java, Java, Java. I'm gonna go to groups again and see what we get. And I'm pretty sure if I keep looking, uh, we'll find something, Seattle Java team page, doesn't necessarily mean that's coffee, by the way. Uh, right there, that's interesting. Uh, there's 23 members of that, so that's an interesting one. Um, if we go back to the original post, which is everything, which is what I find interesting, you see a whole lot of other things going links to this links to that those are jobs let's go ahead and uh, so there are a lot of things out there to search under and and the key is getting to them if we go to events we got Java in Seattle uh, no events so that's okay let's go ahead and take the Seattle part off for now and uh, put in the word Java and developer without Seattle and now go to groups and see what we get ah uh, now we're getting some groups 18k groups 23 you get the hint um, so there you go. That's how simple this can be. It is not hard to go ahead and search on Facebook. And if you have the right tools and everything, it's not hard to get information out and find emails. So this is the updated version of it. Um, Facebook sourcing 2.0, whatever the case may be. Uh, my name's Dean DeCosta, the search authority.